All right, welcome to the uh, first segment in geology. Uh, we are going to be talking about minerals, and specifically mineral color and luster. Uh, joining us, I have uh, two students. Uh, we have Tim, Timmy from, what class are you from, Tim? Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Watts, and 2A. And we've got uh, Louie here from? Louie from also Mrs. Watts' favorite class. Right. You can look in the camera, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, let's get started with uh, color and luster. So uh, color, uh, that's actually a pretty easy one, don't you think? If we're looking at all these minerals here, right, we can see that they all have different colors. Louie, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue? Tim? Green. Green? Mine's blue, too. It's good. But, you know, we do see we do see a blue mineral here, or something that's kind of bluish, right? And we see a bunch of other ones that are different colors, too. All right, and then we're also going to be talking about luster too. And and luster, what do we think luster is? Um, what do you think luster, luster is? If something is has a lot of luster, or maybe not so much luster. Sparkly. Yeah, sparkly. That's a really good term, right? So, would you say that something that has a lot of luster reflects a lot of light? Yeah. Right. So you would say that that's kind of shiny, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And what are some things that are kind of shiny? Metal. Yeah, metals are shiny, right? So do you think, I'm sorry, what's that? Crystals. Yeah, crystals can definitely be shiny too. Do you think any of these minerals here are more shiny than others? Yeah. Yeah, yeah why don't you try to pick some of those out? Yeah, that one definitely is shiny. Yeah, that one's shiny. Let's start, maybe we can separate them a little bit. So ones that maybe are kind of shiny, put those, maybe move that one over here. Right, that one goes over there. So do you want us to like separate the shiny from the non-shiny? Um, well, let's separate, um, well, we said that what looks real shiny. What looks real shiny? Like crystal. All the time. Crystal. And metal, what's the other one? Metal. metal, right? Are there ones here that kind of look like metal? Yeah. Yeah, well, let's separate those out. Let's try to move those into a pile somewhere. Yeah, all right. All right, that's good. Now, if I take a look at this one, does this really look like a metal? No. It just, right? It's real shiny. Yeah. yeah. Right? It just but it, like it reflects a lot, a lot of light. But it's not necessarily shiny or necessarily looking like a metal. But it does reflect a lot of light. And if I compared it to this mineral, right, as I turn it like that, can you see that that dark one reflects a lot more light than this yellow one does? Yeah. Yeah? So it may reflect as much light as that metal, but it doesn't look like a metal. Right, so I'm going to kind of move this one back. But those guys over there, if I was going to describe that in terms of luster, I would call those minerals metallic. All right? Because they look like metal. And I can further separate them because do they look like they're all the same metal? Could I separate them even further? Yeah. All right, so how many, how could I separate them? Tim, can you separate them for me? Uh, this one doesn't look like it has any the shape and the color of it. Yeah, so that one's kind of different, right? It's on its own. This one looks like metal, like like the chairs we sit on, right? Like the frame around them, it looks like that kind of metal. What kind of metal does that look like? Looks like a bunch mixed together. Yeah. But so what's one metal that might stand out? Uh, it's a little gold. Yeah, it? like gold, right? So it kind of, because gold's a metal, right? And this one kind of looks like silver, because silver's a metal. So, um, like, one of the first separations I can do is that I can separate all three of these guys out, right? And I can move these guys over here, right? Because those are going to be metallic, and these are going to be non-metallic. So if I'm talking about luster, I have two different, like, main categories. I have minerals that are going to look like metal, and I have minerals that are not going to look like metal, all right? So that's the first thing that we want to do if we're going to try to assess luster, all right, and color, all right? So if we're going to look at these tables over here, and uh, if you notice, starting on page 70, if everybody's there, if you wouldn't mind flipping back a little bit, Tim. If you notice way up on the top, right, we see these headings where it says metallic and submetallic, and then we've got non-metallic. When we're looking at minerals and we're trying to identify them, we're going to look at some physical properties that are going to help us identify them. And these tables are what we use. And even Ms. Awad, myself, Mr. Bin, and Mr. Baldwin use these. Right? Because we don't have all 3,000 minerals memorized in our head. So sometimes we have to use these guys too. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to look at a mineral and I'm going to decide whether, hey, is it metallic or non-metallic? Right? Mm -hmm. And once I do that, I know exactly what page to flip to. All right? Yeah, so let's take a look at this, at this metallic right here. And if you notice, in some of these descriptions right here in the middle, it's going to talk about are they kind of like a brass or a gold color, or are they going to be kind of like a silvery color? All right, and that's also going to help us in identifying. Now, there's a bunch of other physical properties that we're going to get to today, so I'm just going to stop there, and we're going to focus on the non-metallic. All right, so let's take a look at these non-metallic, and let's talk about them in terms of luster. Now, are there some here that are more...